All right, y'all. So I just got finished getting my groceries delivered. It is Friday, January 15th. Friday, January 15th. And since there is a toque de queda in place, which is basically basically like a stay-at-home order, I didn't want to have to go out and buy groceries. Um, and honestly, I hate grocery shopping anyway, so I'm all for getting it delivered if I could. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got and how much it all was. Okay, so I got three bags here that they just dropped off. Um, I got some, oh my goodness, I did not know this was this huge. I ordered everything on the website, so. <laughs> Whew, didn't, I was thinking this was like a, like a personal size. Anywho, this is some mango juice. Um, I'm not a big juice drinker, but I figured, you know, why not kind of craving something sweet. I got some raspberry jelly. This is a green apple. Two bananas or plantanos. Uh, cuatro aguacates or avocados. Uno más de jugo. This is a mango and strawberry or mango y fresa juice. I got some chicken breast. And my other, I was wondering where the other apple was. <laughs> this is the other manzana. Manzana verde. Okay, and then these bags over here all right so in here we have a little thing of coffee i have a coffee maker and i've been craving coffee and like i said we're i know i'm in like the country of coffee but we're stuck indoors so this will hold me down until i can we can go out which is on monday toca de queda is on monday um this is some brown sugar i have oatmeal that i got earlier this week and so i like having brown sugar for my oatmeal some milk, butter, got some rice, a little bag of rice to go with the chicken, so I don't always have to order out, even though ordering out is just as easy as getting groceries delivered. Um, pimienta, which is pepper, oregano for my chicken, owl, garlic, seasoning, Sal y aceite de olivia, which is olive oil, salt. Again, for the chicken and whatever else I decide to cook. And here, got some canela, which is essentially cinnamon. Like I said, oatmeal girl here. It's for my oatmeal. <laughs> um, these are little chocolate i don't know what you call these and i, I don't know if, these are in america too I, the little sticks with the chocolate in the middle i had a little sweet tooth going on when i was ordering all of this and that that sounded good <laughs> um and then here huevos a dozen eggs okay so the last bag of things that i got got some raid um this is just to kill some of the mosquitoes. I have a balcony, and so as soon as I open the door, they're trying to come in. They haven't been like horrific, but I figure, you know, why not? And then last but not least, some filtros or filters that I can use to make my coffee. So, these are all the things that I got here. <laughs> So all of this that I got, which obviously like I'm going to be ordering food as well. This chicken is like gonna last me but so long. But like I said, I'm just trying to make it through the weekend until we are able to be back out and about. Um, so all this food that I got here cost me 129,122 Colombian pesos or in USD dollars, it is $38.28. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. One, I did not have to leave my house. Two, this included the person going to pick out all my groceries for me and deliver it. And I gave them a nice little tip because she did such a great job. So, 
your girl is happy <laughs> like if this is what grocery shopping looks like for my future like I'm, I'm all here for it because one thing i absolutely hated in the states is going to the grocery store especially in times of covid so yeah super pumped about all my little goodies here and how cheap it was and how easy it was to purchase um but yeah i just wanted to hop on real quick and share with you guys you know my little grocery store experience if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that good up subscribe button and i will catch you all in the next video hasta luego